The people were asking, why did you shoot him? They got no answers. A riot broke out and soon they were looting. And if you ask me, the initial riot was a legitimate fight. Even though I know two wrongs don't make a right. It's just that these authorities don't seem to understand our pain. Because every day we just see the same old same. Another brother's been slain and was it all in vain? We're getting no answers and now we're causing violence in his name. Because truthfully, nothing's changed since the day those NFs called Stephen. Yet you wonder why the youth don't know what to believe in? But let's not get this twisted. This is no longer just a matter of race. This is about keeping the working class in their place. So Mr Cameron, don't lecture me about equal opportunities when you ain't got a clue what's going on in our communities. So please, take the silver spoon out of your mouth and listen to what I've got to say. Because I speak the truth every single day. But you refuse to believe me. Because I'm just another second generation immigrant from a broken home who lives in a shitty town. When you look at my CV, you want to tackle hardship, but you don't even know the meaning. You want to tackle criminals when politicians are doing the most stealing. You lot are driving around in Beamers, Bentleys and Benzes, but still have the nerve to claim money on expenses. And a second home that you don't even live in. So who's the biggest criminals? The kids on the street? Or you? It's you. That's a given. But listen. People lost their homes and businesses. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying, you've got the most power here, yet you still abuse it. But you've got the nerve to stigmatise the working class and ethnic minorities. Yet another sign that nothing's changed. Because even Jesus Christ was killed by government authorities. And as much as I can't condone burning people's homes, I also can't condone raising student loans. When you lot went to university for free, yet you want to lecture me about equal opportunity? I'm sick and tired of hearing this argument, but it's worse than the third world. Yeah, that's true, but to be fair, how do you expect these kids to compare their life experience to the third world when most of them have never even been there? More to the point, this is an oppression of a different kind. It's not just about civil rights, it's about oppression of the mind. Bottom line, British society is broken and we need to fix it real quick. So let's start doing it, brick by brick.